Welcome to the PartyPoker.com Premier League Poker. I'm Jesse May, and put on your earmuffs because shooting the breeze will be Phil Helmuth, the Devilfish, and Tony G. The question, how will their egos get through the door? Coming up on Premier League tonight, Vicky Corin gets knocked around. The Devilfish offers to put Phil Helmuth in a pram, and Tony G starts pushing buttons. Tony has tried to double up the most dangerous player on the table. Would that you think you're the most dangerous? I think yeah. I can back and play you if you're even chips. You're much better worst player I've ever seen. You prick. I need to knock you out. Some players put on their best face with a little makeup and relaxation, while others make sure they've got their bets down with Bookie Tony G. Alright, I'll bet on him. He was, but he was yeah, five to one. He was. He was five to one. These are book bits. The market. So it's written there and I say, can I have it? And you go, now it's nine to two. Before every game, you'll find Phil Helmuth walking around and around the table. Of course, he'll be the last to sit down. Every Premier League fixture vital for the league table. And here, Phil Helmuth with a chance tonight to make it four wins in a row. In the purple zone, Vicky Korn and Liz Liu both in action. They need to push on through. Top three finish vital to get into the promotional zone. But how about Devilfish, Tony G and Ian Fraser? Tonight could be the separation between the pounders and the pavement. That's get over Liz. on the table. Two players have joined in Phil Helmuth's laps of honor. It's hijinks all around. No, no. Go. <laughs> What if you're like you're too heavy? Are you sure? Are you sure? What if you can't? It'll be so bad. Which state are you in? There you go. Thank you very much. Does that mean we're married now? Nearly. We're on the way. We're engaged. I can honestly say I've never got to a poker table like that before. You've got to create history, you know. I'm, I'm here to make history. 600,000 in chips on the table, 100,000 per player. Yellow's worth one, blues are two, and the red's 5,000 apiece. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The story continues as these six sitting down for this match of the league season. And uh, the story, Andy Black, mostly right now concerning these two. Phil Helmuth versus the Devilfish. What a relationship they've built. Yeah, well, as far as I know, they're not lovers. Um, there's certainly a bit of an edge there. Uh, yeah, they've definitely wound each other up the wrong way, and that's what happens whenever two mountains collide, and it's going to be fascinating to see what happens here tonight. Helmuth, of course, going for four out of four. He has won three of these in a row, and who can stop him? Sunglasses on and seat belts like at the a, ready. He finally realized that. Once? You mean I didn't come over, I didn't play like a maniac the whole thing? Yeah. Tony, you, you saw the whole so, cards. I played like a maniac, I mean, he also, right? he also, he also moved in with a 5-7. I saw seven the 5-7, though. 5-7, king, 5, I played like five, a seven, maniac. Five, seven, the viewers at home don't get to see every hand. You saw every hand. But the 5-7, like uh, I was getting They've all right faced each other so before and, and now know the moves that the others have you pulled on them. This ain't going to be pretty. To call with nearly anything. I think you will call with nearly anything. Call. This is what the crowd pays to see. Let's go. Let's go? You don't want to raise 6,000 and see how quickly I re raise or at least call you? <laughs> Center wheel of the three ring Check circus. It. Check. Bottom pair for Phil. Well. Four. All right, you got me. Here we go oh. again. <laughs> here we go again. What's Why going on? Wow. Well, they both got pretty weak hands here, well, yeah. but uh, bet Nicole. I, I got my usual nothing. I never have anything check. against your devil. Can Dave get Phil off this hand? Ten. Phil would hate to See, call. See, Andy, I limped in to, to trap him again. <laughs> I think he hit another 
I think he sucked out on me again, Andy. Phil has imaginary friends. But I also know there. that he was going to call a raise. Have I got anybody on the way? <laughs> so I was, it was a double context. It was a let's trap Devilfish. If he raises, I'm going to at least call, of course, as you can see. How much do you pay in psychiatric bills a year? That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's therapy. I have to work. Phil has made a, the incorrect fold. It was a great bet by Devilfish. He's kept the momentum. He's now using his chips. Okay. He's obviously not going to change gears. He had still had a lot of outs there, but it was a brave okay. bet by the devil fish. Lovely that we've played a couple hands already, and nobody well, in desperate shape. Right now, everybody keeping themselves wrong. in it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's still yeah. totally in this. Pass. In fact, you know when I was doing the comment in your game uh, yesterday? Yeah. Jesse said it's unbelievable because I kept telling him what he's going to do and he did it. <laughs> Seven. That's scary, man. Call. I tell you, uh, for the amount of times that Helmuth has been raising and talking, he's actually Pass. picked up some pretty good hands well, already. Yeah, yeah, he has Pass. been a bit of a human <laughs> card rack over the last few heats. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what the flop brings here. Is that about controlling pot size? Check. Yeah, I think so. You showed a lot of weakness there, Fish. Careful with those cards. Yeah. 12. Well, once again, he's read it right. Fish did show a lot of weakness. Now. Has he read it right, or is he just throwing a taunt out to unseat the fish? Well, he's right anyway, isn't he? Uh, unless fish raises, he's read it right. But there we go. Very interesting. 25. 12 plus 13. And now Phil is going to have to back his judgment. The fish is going to challenge him. Well, this is great play from the fish. But let's see what Phil's got in the tank here. This is a fascinating hand. And he's flicking his chips. He's breathing faster. Does not look comfortable. Yeah, that, that body language says he's done. Okay. Yep. I'll be interested what you have to say here, Andy. Because this, <laughs> if he re-raised me, it was before the flop. Well, what so I, I have to say, pains. Phil, here is <laughs> I think this I'm is a weak part of your game. I know we're talking at the highest levels. Pass. Go on, the devil fish! You have the kings, <laughs> Twice now, Andy! No, I hope he does, because that was my best hand of the day, and if he raised me, I was all in right away. I finally had a hand I was pushing with. It's a match made in heaven, or perhaps not so high up. On one side, the original poker brat, Phil Helmuth, with more bracelets than anyone. On the other side, it's Britain's hard man, the Hull's devilfish, Elliot. These two can't wait to outdo each other. What do I think of Phil Elmuth? I think if he was made out of chocolate, it would have had himself by now because he loves himself. In Texas Hold'em, I think I am the best in the world in tournament Hold'em. It's not even close. If you carry on like this, they're going to make you play in a straight jacket. You know that, don't you? You're going to have to push your chips in with that big head of yours. Are you some kind of genius? I think he's actually frightened to death of me because if you read his book that he wrote, he says, um, he says in the book, you know, the devil fish will raise you with any two cards. You were a little bit rude there. Bullshit. He makes all kinds of moves and they're very effective moves. But once I know someone's making those moves on me, now I can turn the table. Now you're going to see some really crazy stuff. You know, if Phil Elmuth wins his tournament, right, um, they might not even be able to get his head on the plane. Um, hopefully I'm going to send, it, send him back with no money in his pockets. I'm going to get to that final and win it. And the plane's going to go back to America a lot quicker because it's going to be a lot lighter, you know. We've left all the cash back here. There's always action in the green room. It's a beehive of bets and peeled eyes. Last week's winner, Eddie Scharf, keeping his eyes on things while Yuha Helpy saying, Daddy will be home when he makes some money, honey. The fish definitely come in here with a lot of focus. You could say that the, the fact that uh, Helmuth has done all this raising is for naught, because he has the same kind of chips, but he's created a lot of table image, hasn't he? Absolutely. Call. He's created a lot of table image, but uh, these are these players are no fools. Call. Ian Fraser with the limp in and the ace-queen. Helmuth follows suit. 
You could have made it 12 sides. Again, you know, I'm not really sure why Ian Fraser's just limping in here. He's given a lot of players a free flop, and there's a lot of flops come, could come down, and he'd find himself in trouble here. I can tell you why. He hates eighth queen like the plague. It's the biggest horse race. Is it? It's the biggest horse race in Melbourne. Don't be doing any money here. A couple players have something. No, it's not the biggest. Yeah, well, Helmuth is definitely at least going to call this. The Derby over here. I think the English Derby is a bit bigger. What about the Kentucky Derby? That's only six thousand. How should it, Phil, play this? I think he's going to just call it. If he jack queen or something like that, he might raise. But he's got the ignorant end of the straight draw. So uh, I think right, he's just going to call. Try and win a big pot. I'm going to check you, Tony. I checked. Sixer Travel jack is what Helmut needs. Checked. Get your kicks on route 66. Now, if Tony bets it, it's a nice oh. follow through bet. He's kept his composure. The ace well, hasn't scared yeah. him. Is Phil getting odds here to call? Not really. I don't think he's getting odds to call. Can he get paid off if All he right. hits? Well, he's called. I think that ace it's a slightly oh. too small oh. bet, maybe. Oh. He's thinking of implied oh. odds here. Is he planning to bluff on the river, perhaps? Possibly. That's another option. Well, now check. he's got enough to check. They're both going to check. Sevens. <laughs> Seven. Devilfish quick as a flash seven. goes, he's got 7 8. That shows how good these players <laughs> are. Yeah, no messing around. I said I had you seven. Can say it, I yeah, and a good follow through bet from to Tony G. I reckon, me, um, unless <coughs> Phil was prepared to bluff at the end, I didn't think that was a great call. Right. I should have raised you, that wasn't my spot. You fancy me? Should have raised you, <laughs> Vicky. Up. Chasing Vicky, she's the one. <laughs> you played it well. You played no. it perfect. Should've you played it like a set. You thought you might have won. You, you I was queen batting jack, it for straight right? hit. I was batting it for straight hit because I think I don't think he liked. You're hoping I have queen jack, and you win. Twenty-three thousand. I saw fish bet the twenty-five when he made this straight. Oh, I called it like an absolute slot machine. Called it right straight away. away. <laughs> I played out. So I already had my bet designed. It was yeah. Maybe eighteen thousand, which I thought. We just had to hit. It's easy. One, right? Devilfish Oliot really Bloody taking picks. charge tonight. Okay. Helmuth has just sort of promised that he's going to play only the real stuff from here. Well, it's going to be very interesting to see if he does that. He has done this in all the other ones. Um, well, most of them anyway. His general strategy has been when he gets down there, he tightens up, and he's managed to be lucky enough to actually hit the cards or get lucky. Better wake up. <laughs> pass, pass, pass. Tony just pass. Go, momentarily lapse of reason there. And Call round it. two, or is it round three? I think it's about round ten at the moment. <laughs> Helmet limping in. Not fold, the real fish. Fold out of, you know, just say, look, I'm not good enough to win this. Take it. Take it, Mr. Poker. <laughs> That is an option, folding out of turn. Well, Tony G has uh, wow, no, he's been very funny here. I think if Devilfish raises, Phil Helmuth will call. Right, it's 14 more. Helmuth might re-raise here. Devilfish could get himself in trouble. Well, he could indeed. Yeah, I got to let you outplay me a little bit. I'm going back Told to that you had one good one, buddy. And the other one was good. I'm going to let him outplay me for a little while. That's all right with me. That always works better for me. You don't think that one was any good, do you? It might have been if you'd have caught a straight. Well, you might have had an ace three offsuit. And nah, just decided no, 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 I don't want to raise with ace three offsuit. Crazy thing. I don't want to have ace three offsuit, buddy. Well, it's very hard to catch up with an ace three offsuit. I sort of raised with a ten jack of a king queen and an ace three offsuit. You get tangled up with me one more time, and we're at war. The line's in the sand. <laughs> now we play, baby. Now we play. Now I have to now I have to muster up the courage to call you with the ace four offsuit before the flop all in. <laughs> Cause now it's on. I warned you one more time. Yeah. You wouldn't even let me have the flop, huh? Yeah. Hell with on the button, he's played every hand from here and now picks up a real one. It's working well for him today. Raise to twelve. Triple the bet. Wow. I can see Devilfish calling this one. He's going to take a flop with it. If 
he re-raises a beam mistake. He is taking the flop. And G with a chance well, to play for eight. Uh, I will let you down. Pass. Helmuth, a brilliant hand here, but it is no pair. They both missed. I flop any good for you, Phil. I'm all in. Wow, he's gone all in on a stone cold bluff. Oh. And I don't think Phil Helmuth can call this. Oh, I'm amazed. Well, I mean, what his thinking is, and I'll explain this, um, there was actually about 28,000 in there. So he's thinking, well, if I bet half, Helmuth can make a play on me. So he's just going, right, I'm going to bet the lot. See, Andy, this is, this is, this is what drives me nuts. He beats his hands like they're water every time. <laughs> I mean, it's just so sick. Well, I just have to say, I Phil, mean, if you're talking to me, and then, it can only yeah. be me. Um, this hand against him and it's never any good. What's devil the has made a power nothing. play against you. The devilfish has won every hand he's played against Helmuth. He's won with the best, he's won with the worst. Well, you really got to give a lot of respect to Devilfish. He's kept his strategy, he's kept his power play, he's using those chips, and he wants to mow down this table. And more than anything, he wants to mow down Mr. Poker. He ain't letting the foot off the gas. And you didn't have Ice King. <laughs> I didn't have Ace King. <laughs> the devil fish is <laughs> really so digging and, uh, into Phil Helmet now. He won't put up with it for long. How to beat a bully? I specialize in beating bullies. These crazy players, they get a hold of a lot of chips. They're pushing, they're pushing, they're pushing. I might let them bluff me two or three times just to pick them off. So they're, they're like, you know, waka, 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 picking up some of my chips, waka, waka, like a Pac-Man. And then they see that big piece of fruit there. <laughs> yeah, but the fruit didn't taste so good. I get all their chips. So the way to play a bully is let him think he's controlling you and then snap. Well, Devilfish has Phil Helmuth talking to himself. He's gonna watch the tape. I've never heard him say that. The little man are in his head. Ten queen maybe or something. Well, it's seriously good for these other players. Um, everyone was beginning to think he was gonna be a bit of a steamroller in this tournament. But sometimes the rabbit has the gun, and well, when he's got low stacked, he's been a bit of a card rack, and he's managed to come up with the cards. And once again, he's got a couple of nice cards here. Just limped in as well. He's limping in to re-raise, I can tell you that for nothing. I might come out of the closet tonight, you know. But he's going to get a real rude awakening if uh, somebody hits the flop here. Oh, I'll say, it's going to be... It's going to be disastrous if these two hands out flop them. Wow, Vicky has actually flopped three twos. Now she has to check here. Phil's got a flush draw. Hmm? Phil's got a flush draw. He can't get away from it, can he? Cold. He's just cold. He might have an inkling where Vicky's at. Well, he's hit check. a few more outs here. Check. I can't believe Vicky's checked here. She had somebody who was going to draw against her, and she's checked, which I really don't like. If somebody had a draw or a 10 or something like 7, that, 000. she's really let Phil Helmuth off the hook, and she's played this hand pretty badly. Phil trying to get a read here. It's only 7,000, and he does have ace high. Is there anything he can beat? Anyway, Vicky could be bluffing. Bluff. No, I was supposed to go broke with this hand anyway, Andy. She had me some. Uh, I don't raise, whatever you do. Don't raise? I'm either winning or I'm not. Well, <laughs> that's a good statement. Well, I guarantee you I'm not raising. Just pay her off. I think he made a good... I think yeah, he just pay me off. Come just on. Pay, her off. pay me off. Uh, it's a bit silly, Vicky's giving away her situation here. Oh. Well, it's, it's worked. Really I'm beautiful. wrong. Vicky Corrin is an absolute genius, and Andy Black <laughs> is a fool. You see, that's, that's the quality about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Nicely done by Vicky. Everybody's the ladies' charms. They say in poker, you. actually, that yeah, one of the strengths that uh, women have is they can no. goad men into calling, yeah, much as in life, too, a bit more easily than men can I'm goad other men. Okay. So uh, Vicky Corrin has used that? her teacup he charms on well, Phil Helmuth. And she has charmed Helmuth into an even more precarious position. 
and we got five sharks licking their lips. My top tip is, when in doubt, flirt. Away from the poker table, everybody likes it. At the poker table, nothing unsettles them more. Helmuth on 14,000. Pass. Yeah, Helmuth is waiting for the right spot. Right, 12,000. Button raise from the fish. 4 plus 10. 4 plus 8. Ooh. Ace King, big slick. For the man from all around the place. And wow. Oh boy. Devilfish is ace queen here. Very easy to see Tony doubling up here, isn't it? Is he re-raising? He's definitely going to re-raise. It's just a question of how much. Yeah, Liz Lou has got a little pair. Mm. You never know. 20 more. 12 plus 20 is 32. It, this should be enough of a sign for Liz, shouldn't it? Yeah, she's got a raise and a re-raise oh, yeah. into her. And she's... Uh, oh, you might not be first out, wow. Don't flap a three. A raise and a call, and I think this is a mistake from Devilfish. He's really put in too many chips here. Oh, man, I'm ahead. Let's see if I can get lucky once, huh? What did you have? Threes. And a couple split pots there, but the kicker plays right now. Ace or deuce for the split. The fish needs the queen to knock out G. This pot's going to make Tony G chip leader. Tense moments here, waiting for the last card. Tony G, his whole series is on the line, and well, he's done it. This is the first stack that Tony G has gotten a hold of in this Premier League. This is my favorite streak. It's the best hand I've had all tournament too, Devilfish. We, we both deserved our hands. <laughs> that's the best hand I've had all tournament. That's, that's been patient. I, mean, I could even fold it. Well, let's see yeah, whether that's, that's uh, so that stack play. sticks in his mouth right or opens now. up his larynx, because right. get ready for Tony G, I imagine, to mow people down with the verbals. <laughs> Look at the leaderboard now. Tony G on top. Don't blink. He's there, and Devilfish in fifth, but still a factor? He's a factor. This is very bad. It's funny you know, when you comment. <laughs> Didn't play a hand all night, and then yeah. Ace does all in, 100,000. This has to be it for Helmuth, shouldn't it? He's, he's under the gun. Well, it's marginal. Wow, he's just called. Why, why would he just call? Well, he's nice maybe trying thing. to get a chance to see the flop, and he is going to call the raise. Totally he's only got so four trying to get a few people in there. Can, can he fold? Oh, he's not folding. Folding like uh, You know, what can happen sometimes in these situations is somebody calls, and then somebody raises, and all of a sudden you get value for your short chips. Ah. Well, how Elliot's made it 15, so it's... Oh, I believe it's 13,000 yeah, on Vicky Corn. Vicky is sizing up for a bit of a raise here. You better have a nice hand here. Well, I've raised when the guy's all in. What do you think I've got, baby? I've got to have something. I mean, I have to have something reasonable. So 7,000. Leave seven in there, fishy. I raised in first position again when the guy's all in. I mean, I got an ace 10. So, so Phil Helmuth is all in here. Yeah. One queen already gone. Not a bad Beating hand, me slightly. Fish, I haven't won many today, but maybe maybe I needed to you, have the You worst always hand. beat me in these situations, bro. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> always. Just get it in with the worst again, me, and it's no problem. What we got here? So we got an Phil Hamath has one foot out the door, the magic man. Looks like he's going out unless he hits a couple of running miracles. Parents were. Ace and a ten. Wow, he's hit one Ooh. possibility. <laughs> a hook on the river to stick the dagger up. into <laughs> Dave Elliott's <laughs> heart. <laughs> Did I win this and win the tournament? Oh, oh my God. God. Only a small favorite before it started. And he's I'm done it. Him. Later, fishing. Stone motherless last. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Okay, Congratulations. Yeah. On your bike now. Vicky, how you your doing? Your bike's out the back. Vicky, you, and you Liz, an I, want, I want some love from you guys. Give no, me no. a hug. Give me uh, let me escort Ooh. you. Wait a second. Tony, you can do your shit. Right, you got the bike? Ooh, Get his bike. Beautiful women. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi.
Hi, honey. Oh, that's right. Or anybody <laughs> would take that, and uh, he can yeah, smile about it. Right. Well, I know he's going to be back a couple Thanks, more Jenny. times, and for sure at the final table. But uh, that's going to make the devil fish feel pretty good. Back in a hotel in bed. And when, he watches the, uh, when he watches the video, me and him together, he's going to jump off the roof. 9-6. How about when I had ace king? No, he had 9-6 when you had ace king. Ace queen, he had 9-6. OK, and then when I had ace king? He had 9 of hearts that time. And when he had 9-10, he had deuce three. Wow. He left me four times. See, he's the only player in my career. He showed me the nuts 10 times in a row earlier in my career when I called him. So I've been giving him a lot of leeway, a lot of room. Now it's done for him. Watch out the fish. There are four others, but not the league leader, who was first to fall. Welcome back. More action here at the PartyPoker.net Premier League Poker. Just letting you know. We'll, so just, we'll, make just, sure. well, I'll tell we'll you, let I you play you with the best hands. hands. If I've got fantastic just make sure you've got a hand, okay? You don't want to double me up. <laughs> I'll, I'll raise. I'll, I'll raise. I always take you. He hasn't lost any of his fire and vinegar, though, has he? Australian ego business. Wow. Liz Lou will definitely re-raise here, but how much? We've seen a lot of big hands out tonight, aren't we? Yeah. We see a lot of big hands out every night. Tony G has made it 14, I think. Guess we're going to get to see if you're raising with a genuine hand or not, huh? Or if, you just, if that was just some silly ego thing for the TV. Good morning. Hey. At least now the pressure's not on me. <laughs> I don't think there's any pressure on you anyway, that's right, you are. See what they're doing my blind? Everybody gets hands except me. She's priced in the call here, there's no decision about it, and we're going to see a classic race. Well, she's going to give it some thought. It is a re-re-raise, and, uh, well, I think she's going to think about it, she's going to consider it, and then she's going to put the money in. How many hands are left, Marty? You might be drawing dead and I might be drawing We're going to get my little dealer back on, for God's sake. It's pretty much the story. The fact that she's thinking this long, impressive, and she's very calm, isn't she, Andy? Yeah, I mean, she I'm, is. I mean, you know, uh, but I've seen her do this whenever she always calls, and I think this is one of those examples. Unless I've read it wrong, which I have three or four times tonight already. I just wonder how her standing in the league table should affect her decision here. She's maybe got a little bit more than we thought she had. She's got about 60,000, 50, 60,000, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, and it goes. I think it's two queens, me. Oh. oh, look at this. The fish said two queens. Yeah. And there they are. Yeah. Fish read it right. Cool. What, what, a, right? Good, what a good judge the old fish is, yeah. Well, Liz Liu is all in, and uh, Tony G has folded an ace, so she needs some help. Wow, that's trouble. And the Razor, Ian Fraser, right now about to be in a commanding position. Drawing dead by the turn is Liz Liu, out second here. Well, you can't fault Liz Liu. She's just been cold decked. There was nothing much she could do. Um, and she's just been a bit unlucky there. But Ian Fraser has sat a bit tighter than he did in the first oh, heat. That's better than Ian's day. <laughs> you made a good call. Oh, okay. You are really nice. <coughs> really nice. Wow, when that Ian catches a bit of fun, you better be careful. All these players are just a character. Let's put it that way. Everybody has a different personality. I love it. Um, and it's a real competition. Everybody's played. She fantastic. needed an ace, and she'd have all the chips. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> you just had to rub it in, don't you? No, just had to just dig it in, uh, Phil. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to knock you out next match. But we're not in the next match together. All right, the following match. Oh, uh, we might not be in the following match together. All right, then the final match. We might not be in the final match together. We will. Ooh! <laughs> How interesting for the tables, well, Andy, that the bottom two on the league table are numbers one and two in this heat. Yeah, um, uh, if it finishes up like this, what we're going to have is in the middle of the pack, we're going to have a whole bunch of people, including myself, all around eight, nine, ten points. We're going to have Phil Helmuth out front, 
And we're going to have uh, a whole bunch of people, in a sense, fighting for that fourth pl automatic place in the final. So it's really tensing up here. We're both going to Devilfish trying to decide if he's got uh, any bet besides all in. Clearly, he's got a good enough hand here. Just go all in. There's no decision. Yeah, but maybe I, maybe I want a little bit of action, but I'm running a bit bad. Maybe I just want to win it now. I don't know. I've got to decide. You might fold. You might think your hand's too weak now. You might wake up. Have a look at it again. I'm on it. That's the way. Count it out. I think you're going to have a dance. Wow. wow, now that's exactly the two cards that really um, really he wants to see. Tony G has a lot of chips. I think it'll be a bit of a loose call. But it's one of these marginal decisions. Let's see if he can get away from this hand. Yeah, I, I need to get you out. I think statistically, I don't have any choice. No, he's not going to like it if he calls. If you win, we'll start again. All right. <laughs> Vicky, oh, the vixen. <laughs> Well, they all had a hand. Oh. Kathy, you have a good deal, baby. Give everybody you a hand. You put me in a horrible, a horrible position. She's Did Tony call? Kill me Tony's call. Well, she should just move all in, shouldn't she? Yeah, I think she should move oh, all I in. Oh, she would have passed. <laughs> you might have done your favor. Maybe I got the best hand. You know, it's possible. Even I get the best no, hand I, sometimes. No, I, I have a better hand than you. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Hmm. Well, call one. Trouble it was the, This one is now... You can have anything. You thought about it for 10 minutes. Just call. I must have a reasonable hand or something. I mean, I want you to call. Now there will be tactics here that I don't. Tactics of this mm. one finishes out and you get the points and this oh, and that. What's going through Vicky's head right now? I mean, does she think Tony that Tony G's laying in wait for her? Perhaps. No, no, she's just a bit I confused here. I have to say, she's a bit confused. Isn't she it automatic? Have, it's an automatic all in. I wish I'd waited one more hands on my little deal. I don't even want to. You have the best hand. I think I got the devilfish boot. Oh, and she passed. Be. She's passed. King nine? Tony, I love you, baby. Oh. What did you have, Vic? Look what he tries to double me. Is he a sucker? I can't tell you two. I can't call. I have to. Uh, one time. What did you I can time? beat those two hands. No, because it's like, well, we know you I can feel beat bad about passing. When you think about it for 10 minutes. Just I'm just time. calling just because I need to knock Yay. him out. That's all. Because I can come back if I lose the hand. And apart from that, I'm, I've got this bad it's record. Like 40, 60, um, it's good value for me. In 40, 60, is that yeah. what you think I would also call with your hand. I, it's just now I'm... 40, 60. Yeah. No, no, it should be. I mean, I don't know your hand. If it was like ace five, it's 40, 60. That's what I'm saying. You've got 11 to 4 chance at the moment. Yeah, I know that. What do you think? But I don't seem to win these, so oh. it doesn't really matter. Might you know what, this is where the whole thing with the points and the structure plays with your head. If it was a normal tournament, I'd just stick it in with it's my hand. You play like a little girl. It's okay. Sit down and be What did you have, Vicky? Come on, I baby. How long have I got to wait Why before I get thrown Because quality. it's such a lot of chips, I don't want to call and miss the Look flop and, and, and pass. I can't tell you it's doing... Because... You will tell me. I feel bad for for getting involved in the pot. No, no, no. If I have different sort of hands, I'm happy that you call and I can pass. Tell you what, this could be the, where the Devilfish is tournament. To, oh, it's a nine! Oh, the fish is going to be out! No, look at this fucking joke. Is this disgusting or what? This is unbelievable. I've just never seen how like it. I wow. didn't say to Marty. If I was a bad Tony, person, I would have said to Tony, you've tried to double up the most dangerous player on the table. With that you think shape. you're the most dangerous. I think With I can back and play you if you have even chips. You're, you're the better worst player I've ever seen. You do this every I might time. Be, I might be the worst. Uh, fish is being a bit niggardly here. I want to see you go. I want to put pressure on you. That's you want to see me double up? I don't care if you double up. I'm not afraid if you double up. Fucking prick. I need to knock you out. 40-60, I think it's 40-60 in the long run. That's why okay. I call. What a prick. Give me a shot if I get lucky. <laughs> the green room helmets busily booking bets. <laughs> now run for fish! Go fish! It's fucking scary. Unbelievable, huh? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You went to the head. 
I should have waited one more hand for you to come back. That's what I should have done. What a prick he is. I mean, how do you do <coughs> somebody up with a king nine? Oh, wow, he's hit the 10. He's hit the 10. Wow. My goodness. The devil rises back up from the grave. Well, there's a bit yeah. of justice there, Tony boy. Or a call and, you know. Not complaining when I, when, when I lose. I mean, that's poker. Well, if you put your money in, in such bad shape, you've got to expect uh -oh. to lose. Was everybody glad to see that come off? <laughs> Be truthful. Truthful. Thanks, Kathy, darling. You, you couldn't script this? This is like the WWF. Yeah, the fish was out of this Premier League. Yeah. Vicky Corrin let him go. I never said a word to Kathy. Did I say anything to He was walking. All I said to him was, don't worry, whatever happens. He could score an eight ball here. Whatever happened, I said that. Yeah, no, I, I just, I played that hand badly. Everyone on there was. <coughs> everyone, 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 everyone. People like to see, yeah, they're everyone. People like to see the best hand win every now and then. You know? They do. Especially when somebody makes a bad time. Right. Devilfish, well, he's been around. He's a dinosaur now, poker. So I think he's past his best. He's a prat. You know, Tony G is a prat. Devilfish seemed to be grumpy about the comments I made about his his highness performance last night, which I thought was below par. I watched him playing in the cash game last night and it was like watching Stevie Wonder play. I've had a feeling and an indication that he's not playing up up to the level that he purports himself to be. Guys have realised that the cameras will zoom in on you if you scream and you shout. And you'll get invited to these TV programmes if you scream and you shout. I mean, that's why Tony G's been invited. I mean, he's not really a, a prolific winner at poker. I've made it clear that he's losing his touch in poker. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what the fish can produce today because the pressure is really on him. I should have raised. I should have raised. I played it like a girl. You played anyway. it like yesterday you had Ace Jack when you should have called that time with Phil and then you, 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 everything might have been different. But anyway, it's gone now. We're still here. We still sat down after a little walkabout. That's what they call it in its own. A walkabout. Walkabout Creek. So our feel is on free roll, right, so yeah. I might have a little bet now. 12. Walk about quick, Mike. Here comes Tony now. Look, he's got right. a. What? Come on. Put a little pressure on you. You know what, Tony? I'm more or less on a free roll here. Oh. I call. It's yeah. a free roll for me, right? What's she got? Oh, not again. This is scary shit, huh? Wow, look at this. Yeah, is this, is this scary yeah. shit or what? Well, so we played three hands, you've been behind twice. Wow. It's unbelievable. Scary, isn't it? Huh? You know, it's so sick now. <coughs> Against this guy who calls me with anything and moves over the top and with anything. Put a queen up there, baby. One time for me. Nothing. <laughs> queen ball. Devilfish does win this pot, the he'll be near the chip lead, but only three cards in the deck. It's given him some split pot out, seven, we chopped the money. Seven or queen, and that's it. I think he did better when he was walking away from the table, not waiting for the river. And it isn't. Well played. <laughs> Unbelievable. See how good it is to you, the poker world? Instead of making you look a prat with your king now, you look good with your king. 25 years, you know everything evens out. I just play my game, I don't complain. Fuck you. Instead of looking like a prat with a king now, now you look like an arrow with the ace king. Two uh, points for the devil fish here. That'll bring him up to four, but he's still not the best in the relegation maybe. zone. Marty, that was cruel. She dealt the 10, then dealt that out next time. Cruel, baby. Fuck you. Well, what an eventful two levels. We lost half the field, and now three left and the uh, Tony G and Fraser, they needed points and they're going to get them. The very first next down, I understand. Like, like you're going to war with me, doing the move, you got the ace-king again. What, if you got you're the ace-queen, you're a legend. You're a legend. You got the on, I can't, I can't say anything about cards. I'm just playing my game. It's always the same. Oh, cool. It's fucking game. There's a clip somewhere. <laughs> That's how Tony totally plays. He's very aggressive player, you know, and he's, you know, he's got a very aggressive style. He ain't got a lot of brains. I mean, he's got the brain of a of a, you know, an African fruit fly, but, uh, you know, he rocks and rolls and sticks it in, and he gets lucky. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way I played, you know. That's poker, baby. 
the devilfish has swum out of here, leaving us three-way. Blinds up to three and six thousand now. And uh, as far as Ian and Tony are concerned, they really Pass. want to secure those top two places, don't they? Uh, they need points. Tony putting the pressure on Vicky Corn. Ooh, she's got a pocket pair. Wow, we've seen some cards tonight, Jesse. Oh, wow, and Tony's got a bigger pair. She, she might. 19 more. She might <laughs> decide to push. Although she's played passively before the flop with her pairs. What do you think? Cool. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, well, I think that oh, is Queen of Spades has rocked her. And uh, she's made a really rash all in there. Tony G just went call like a light. Yuck. He read Vicky Corrin bang on, and now she's praying for a five. Yeah, this is huge for Tony G. Vicky Corrin will get three points no matter what. She needs to catch the five ball. Double cinquentes. <laughs> this is well, a big pot. This is a big, big pot. Oh, wow, she's hit the five. I cannot believe this. Now you're happy. Lady Luck, unbelievable. No, you're meant to win this hand, you'll win this hand. Gracious from Corrin. Might be in a funny way, like 6-8, but you'll win this hand. <laughs> well, she's called the first card. That's unusual. Tony G's got plenty of bouts, a 6, a 9, or a jack. And he's missed. Tony oh, G yeah. must be gutted. Yeah, it's pretty amazing when you consider that Fraser folded a five on the button. But either way, Corin now, well, she's a virtual chip it's leader. It's very nice for you not to shout at me because there's a lot of things you could shout. Vicky Corin um, just got real lucky there. Um, whether Tony G would have lost a lot of chips anyway with the way the cards came down, we'll never know. He's he's taking it like Price. a true gambler. And uh, right back into action. G getting on the horse mm. here. Cool. All uh, in quick. Very from quick all in. Very Ian quick Fraser, call. does he have ace queen beat? Oh, sure thing. She got me into the hands. Can't do anything. It might be Can't the ace king. I, uh, Tony G is, does not sound pleased about this. It's pocket sevens oh, well, for Fraser. It's, it's a race. And Tony G is not feeling very lucky at the moment, and I couldn't blame him one bit. Boy, this has all happened. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Sometimes it just isn't your day. No, I mean, the three points would be the most he's gotten so far. A couple outs now, ten well, That improves the situation dramatically. He's got about 10 outs in the deck. Wow. No luck for Tony G. Really can't fault this play much today. He did waste a couple of chips, but he has been horrifically unlucky. I hate it. I hate it. I, I never want to win like that. I never want to win like that. There's a three games left for me, but um, I'm way back in the field now. And uh, I need to win a few, a few matches, so... Definitely haven't performed up to standard up to now, you know, that, that's the reality of it. These players, of course, <laughs> both going to be the beneficiary of some the best one. big <laughs> points on the table. But Ian Fraser, whether he gets six or eight, will definitely move into the heads up zone of the table. And Vicky Corin, if she can seal this deal, will go into third position. She's guaranteed fourth at least. Ian Fraser, of course, you look at those stats, not much between them, but if you think about the pots they've played together in this heat, Fraser has come out the better. In the green room, speculation on the outcome. I think Ian Fraser is, uh, is a nailed on favorite to win. I put my house on it. Now, now that's <laughs> better. Money, right? I have put my house on it. Yeah, I have put my house on it. Quite literally, I'm gonna be living on the street if Vicky wins. So let's hope that Ian wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. I think it's going great. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> mm. 
Vicky's lost about 80,000 in drips and drabs. To be fair, Andy, uh, okay. Fraser has had a little bit of the run of the cards as well. He's stolen a couple. <coughs> yeah, but, indeed uh, he has. He has hit the cards. He's hit a middler. He's, he's hit the flops. Um, and Vicky's probably reeling now. This could be it. She's got him now. Two pair. Seven. If he hits a four, she'll be dibble, dibble, double. Oh, falling, eh? Is that a straight draw? This is Vicky's chance. I need, I need a card. Is it that one? Well, yeah. he's hit, he's hit a flush draw. Oh boy! I'm all in. Oh wow! Call in, call. Wow! He slipped up, didn't he? Well, he's he's got outs. He's gone all in. I mean, I think even if he bet. Maybe uh, there wasn't that much more to call. This is huge for Corrin. She's going to be nearly level. And she dodge a spade or a queen. Wow, it's Ooh. a spade. Okay. Unbelievable. That's well, a, this has been a wham-bam. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Heat in the poker yeah, league. It's over. Ian Fraser's got lucky there. There you are. Take them. Take them. Thank you. <laughs> Give me them all. I'm delighted to have six more points. But they can play havoc with your head, these points. I mean, I passed an ace-queen in that tournament purely because my mind was boggled by the points. I, I was drowning in a sea of, oh, Tony's got that many and Delfish has that many if I pass it. Blah, blah. Actually, I outthought myself. I should have just stuck the chips in, then I'd have had a big lead. And I might not have been second. Mm. Winning is a, a tremendous bonus. You know, you, you get some bucks in the bank for it and the eight points, you know, I'll, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, you know, there ain't no reason why I could finish top. Looking at how this match has affected the league standings, what's up the teacup? Vicky Corrin now into the top four. And although Phil Helmuth was knocked out first, his lead still strong at the top in the purple zone. The win by Ian Fraser has served him in good stead up into the top eight. And Liz Lou, the early exit, Tony G and Devilfish still in the pink zone. I mean, good forward progress by Tony G, but hey guys, five points out of three matches played. Are they all talking no turkey? Have you ever seen anything like that? It was the best of the British coming out on top. This Premier League is topsy-turvy and hot to trot. Next time it'll be more points, more players, more drama. Go! <laughs> I don't want it to be close. Well, I think the ball should be at home or playing in a sandpit somewhere. Thousand. I mean, does the mother know the out? Okay.